In this video, we're going to begin a new series where we build a cryptocurrency personal management application. And the first thing that we want to do with that is we want to secure it. So we're going to use uh, some of the new class-based views that are built into Django 1.11 to be able to automatically do some of our uh, login management and password reset and things of that nature. So to get started, the first thing I've done is off camera, I've created a new project. I have set up all of the template stuff and I have created a base.html file for us to extend on the rest of our templates. I've also done a migrate and that's it. So the first thing that we want to do is well, let's look at our base.html. You can see it's a standard file. I have done some uh, bootstrap imports for the CSS. If you'll go down, you'll see that we have some navigation with some links. It says home, alerts. Those are currently not going anywhere. We are checking if the user is authenticated. If so, we're showing a logout link and their username, uh, and that'll eventually go to their profile. Uh, if they're not logged in, then it just has a link to the login page. And then down below, we have our block content so that we can show our content. And finally, we have our imports for the rest of our JavaScript bootstrap stuff. So with that, I mean, we have our base HTML. It's a fairly standard HTML template that uh, people use all the time. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do a manage.py start apps and we'll do that with accounts. I personally like to use the accounts app or create an accounts app to put everything into instead of like users or registration or uh, things of that nature. Uh, accounts to me feels uh, more like you're dealing with user accounts. So what we'll do is now that we have our accounts app created, we need to create the path for our templates because we're gonna create templates and we're gonna move templates from uh, Core Django and modifying them. So we need a templates location. So we'll create a accounts template accounts. And then we're going to start doing some code. We'll jump into our crypto manager uh, urls.py, which is the base URLs file. We'll go down to our URL patterns and we'll do an include and we're going to include on the root URL to uh, go ahead and include our accounts.urls. So this is basically saying that the first thing to check is just dive right on into account.urls and see if anything matches. If not, then move on in this case to admin. So now we'll move over to our actual urls.py inside of accounts and notice it's blank. We've just created the file. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in some code and this is everything that we need for the next couple of videos uh, for dealing with account uh, login and logout and password resets and things of that nature. They are using the generic class-based views that are built into Django Contrib Auth. So we've noticed it's Django Contrib Auth.views and we have login, logout, password reset view, password reset done view. We have password change view, password change done view. We have a password reset confirm view and a password reset complete view. These are all the different stages in either resetting your password or changing your password. Uh, we're only going to, in this video, look at login view and log out view uh, since they're so simple and we're going to do our own template for login and we don't need one for log out. The rest of the views up there, we're actually gonna copy some uh, templates from the Django admin and modify those accordingly. So we'll go ahead and do our login URL. We'll do login view as view. We're going to override the template name to be accounts slash login dot HTML, which we're going to create here in a minute. So this is going to have a login view for the login URL at the root of our URL. We're going to give it a name of login and then we're simply going to copy that and paste it for logout. And we're going to do the tweaks to logout. So change it to logout, change to logout view. And we're not going to use a template name. We're actually going to use a next page. So we're going to use the next page keyword argument and we're going to set it to reverse lazy login. What that does is that's going to look for the URL that is named login, which is the one above. And since the next page is being set, it's going to automatically redirect uh, anyone that logs out to the login page because uh, this is going to be locked down system because we don't want people to log in and see some of our uh, personal uh, information or potentially see personal information dealing with our uh, cryptocurrency uh, trades and uh, information. And then finally, we're going to uh, rename the name to log out. So now we have our URLs for logging in and logging out. And we kind of have an idea that the login view is going to 
pull in the template for a login and that when you log out, you're gonna be redirected to the login page. So now we're ready to jump into our settings and we're going to add accounts to our installed apps so that it knows where to pick up code and the templates as well. And finally, we'll jump to the bottom and we'll set the login URL and the login redirect URL. So whenever you know something else in the system might not know where to go to log in, uh, it's going to look in the settings uh, for the login URL and it's gonna take us there. Login redirect URL is where you go whenever you log in. In this case, we just wanna to go to the homepage. And in a later video, we're going to set up our homepage and we're gonna lock it down so that you can't even access the homepage unless you're logged in. So next we're ready to deal with the template for a login. So we'll just open up our accounts, template accounts, and create a login.html. We're going to extend our base.html. We're going to play, create our block content section. And then we're going to start doing some stuff. We're going to add our form. It's going to be a post, and we're going to post it the action to the current page. Do our CSRF token. And then we're going to do a form.asp because we're going to use paragraph. We're not exactly worried about styling at the moment. And then we're going to create an input type of submit. And that way we can actually log in. Then we're going to add two links, uh, register and can't reset password. And we're going to make those work in the next video so that people can uh, be able to remember their password. And then in the video after that, we're going to go over uh, user registration and user profile. So now we're actually ready to give this system a shot. First thing we need to do is create a user. And then we're ready to jump into the browser. Notice we're on the home page and it's 404ing, so we don't have anything there. That's totally expected because we haven't created a home page. And we'll do that in a later video. If we go to slash login, you'll see we get our login form that we just created. And we just add a username that we just created. And we'll add our password. And then notice we have the register and can't remember password links. So go ahead and log in. And we're back to the home page where we have a 404. That's exactly what we expect. Let's jump into the admin to verify that we are logged in. And we are. If we go up to the top corner and you'll see logout. If you look at the bottom left corner, you'll see admin logout. If we hit logout here, it would take us to the, the admin login page. Uh, so instead we want to go up to the URL and change it to logout to test our logout and there we go we're back on the login page and it doesn't have any of our personal information at the top and it says login so we know that we are not logged in currently so with that that's the uh, simple way to do the generic class-based views with a login page join us next time for the uh, rest of the situation where we're uh, resetting and changing passwords. It's fairly simple. Built-in auth stuff makes life a lot simpler. So thank you for your time and have a great day.